So what is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. I have been MIA for the past couple weeks. I truly apologize for all that. I've been super busy trying to progress this business and progress my side hustles, side hustles and progressing everything that I've been having going on over my life over the past couple weeks and just trying to honestly try to progress myself as much as I can, take some time away from social media overall, but just trying to learn new things and just progress everything that I can. If you guys have been following me over this past journey, you guys have seen kind of what I've been doing over the past past previous videos that I've done. And as you guys can see by the description and title that I have officially started an auto detailing business. I have a couple cars that I'm already starting on. I already have a few clients already kind of bringing the cars to me as I begin to start this journey, beginning to start this business. And right now, I'm gonna just start kind of just one by one. I'm gonna be learning a lot of new things. So don't judge me, you guys. If you guys see me kind of doing certain things and maybe you guys have not seen before, I'm just kind of learning on this. I have a few tools at my disposal using my pressure washer, my shampooers that I've used for my furniture flipping business that I still have and still do today fixing them, cleaning them, repairing them, just kind of use some of those tools now, move it over to another side business and see what I can do and what I can become with that and be able to do with all that. And as you guys can see right here behind me, we have another set that we have been cleaning and fixing, still very much into the couch flipping, into the storage units, flipping storage units, selling furniture on a day to day basis. But I felt like I wanted to use my time to do something else on top of all this and try to produce another source of income outside of all this and just do something different that I've always wanted to do and always wanted to try to see if I could accomplish it. And so with all that being said, let's go ahead and check out the first vehicle that I will be detailing. I have a few vehicles that I'm gonna be detailing. I'm just gonna be doing them kind of one at a time for now since I'm first starting, first getting into this business and first learning new things. And we're just gonna go and I'm gonna show you guys everything that's gonna be cleaned on it what all I'm gonna do to it and show you guys the before and after so let's get on over there and I'm gonna show you guys the vehicle so as you guys can see this is a 2018 Toyota Corolla it is not in too bad of shape driver's side is pretty dirty as you guys can see kind of all the buildup on the steering wheel here it's from just all the use over the years floor obviously just a standard general use never been vacuumed seats are kind of dirty and gunked up over all this over the years center console as well is very dirty overall car looks like it's been in decent shape but we'll need a little bit of work and a little bit of cleaning see this side as well a bunch of trash and stuff just can all be thrown away it's been somewhat neglected outside isn't too bad but as you guys can see here uh the owner, her son ended up damaging the front bumper. This, she will want replaced. I will not be doing that. Just the detailing side of this stuff. It's got a cracked windshield, as you guys can see. I'm not sure if you guys can see it very well. It's got a crack down the middle of the windshield. That will be replaced as well. I will not be doing that. Also, the bumper here has been damaged pretty badly as well. And I will not be replacing that. I have bodywork guy that can do all this bodywork stuff. The interior is pretty dirty, been pretty badly neglected over the past couple of years. I'm pretty sure this is the first time this car is actually getting this much of a cleaning. Not too bad for a start. The seats here will be probably shampooed because they're pretty dirty. It's got quite, quite a bit of stains in the back, a bunch of trash in the back. Not too bad for, uh, for my first vehicle, be vacuuming and shampooing all these carpets you guys see below me. And as you guys can see, the hood here under the hood is pretty dirty. As what we can see, just it's gonna need a complete overall detail. I'm gonna be very, very careful in detailing under the hood. I'll be discussing you guys what I'm gonna be doing to it over all this time, getting all this dirt and grime and all that out of here. It's only a three-year-old car. It's 2018 Toyota Corolla, so it's not too old. Doesn't have too many miles. We'll need some little bit of TLC cleaning overall, but I'm super excited to get this going and showing you guys the before and after the whole process of me doing everything and just kind of seeing where we go from here and also just be learning over all this time and what things I should do and what things I shouldn't be doing. So with all that being said, sit back, relax, and let's get onto this detailing and let's get onto it. Now, the first thing I'll be doing is taking off all the both front seats, driver and passenger side, 
mainly because removing the seats actually just makes it a little bit easier to work in the vehicle and plus overall the two front seats need to be cleaned and deeply cleaned anyways so it just makes it easier more on my part to getting them cleaned up it's just kind of a little bit of a hassle unbolting them off the car and removing all the wiring and stuff and getting them out of the car since it's pretty tight fit for the most part but it just makes overall the entire process so much easier getting the whole entire interior of the car a lot easier when both two front seats are out of the way just as a little bit of a side note as you guys want to do anything like this taking two front seats on a vehicle makes it so much easier to clean Now the first thing since I finally unbolted the seats is I'm going to be taking them to my backyard where I have my pressure washer and I'm going to be pressure washing these. Now keep in mind, you got to be careful since these are newer vehicles, this is a newer vehicle, I got to keep in mind of the electrical underneath of them, just the pressure washing does just a quicker and easier job, especially if starting out with cleaning these seats and I'm pretty impressed with the results. Now the next step is to finally get with the whole interior cleaning by picking up all the trash, everything that's been kind of spread all around the interior of the car, just trying to grab as much trash as I can out of the interior of it. It wasn't as bad as I would have thought and finally starting the vacuuming, it's already starting to look a little bit better by just doing those few things that I just done to the vehicle. I'm so excited on the process of this and just trying to see where I can take everything it's vehicle as you can see is pretty dirty and is already looking a little bit better as I continue to vacuum the whole interior of it and by removing all those seats just makes it so much easier to clean the whole interior of the vehicle. I would truly recommend if you guys want to do any of this is to remove those two seats because you really can't get deep down into the vehicle with two seats in the way, bolted in the way and that's kind of why I did what I did. Also going to the back of the trunk and getting that cleaned out. The trunk wasn't really too bad, so luckily it was just kind of a quick vacuum and may just wash that back trunk carpet piece and just vacuum underneath by the spare tire. And that's really all the trunk needs. It wasn't too bad as much as the interior was obviously, so that's gonna be a little bit more work to get done. Next part, I'm going to be detailing the engine bay. Just as a precaution, I'm just going to be removing the battery so for sure the car has no power running through it and I'm able to fully clean it completely out without having to worry about anything electrical on the vehicle. So removing the battery would be just honestly just a precaution and help me a little bit with getting everything out of the way. Next part, I'm going to be covering up what I don't want to get wet. Most importantly are a lot of the sensors. With a vehicle this new, got to worry about wet, wet sensors getting wet and getting ruined and causing problems over time. So I'm not going to be spraying that, just areas that I know for sure won't affect it and being very careful and being mindful of not getting water in any specific areas that I don't want, want water getting into. And also just spraying my uh, degreaser, engine degreaser, just getting a lot of that stuff and grime over the years out. Being very careful and being very mindful of what I'm spraying. Keep in mind, the owner didn't really care too much about cleaning the engine bay 100%, so I'm not gonna be 100% cleaning it to perfect, perfect, but I will get it a little bit better than what it was before. I'm using just some basic degreaser and some warm water, just to kind of get all that grime off of it, and just a basic microfiber rag, and just spraying the rest of the engine bay with just you know a little water bottle with water to not have to worry about getting any water and anything important in the engine or any major sensor. So I'm very mindful of that. Just keep that in mind. If you guys ever decide to detail your engine bay, I for sure keep that in mind so I don't cause any future problems. Engine bay looks so much better now, just with a couple minutes of work and detail. Next part, I'm gonna be going over the trim on the outer doorway of the car on all four doors. As you guys can see, there's a lot of dirt and a lot of grime buildup over the years of use, obviously, coming in and out, in and out. Just all the dirt completely builds up over these areas. And if they're not washed specifically, they won't get cleaned. And I'm just gonna be basically going over it and just washing, rinsing each and every doorway. Keep in mind for not getting too much water inside. I'm gonna be shampooing the interior of the carpet anyways, so I don't care if I get really 
too much water inside, just trying to be careful, obviously, and just spraying down just the doorways and the entrance of the car. And going over with my degreaser, completely spraying all four doors all around, letting it sit for a little while, just to break down all that dirt and grime, completely all the way around the car, just trying to be as careful as possible, but also just spraying down everything that I can and get as much of that grime off as possible. And going over it one more time with some water, just finally get all that buildup of grime and dirt and mud and gunk completely off the vehicle for the most part. This did the trick and just got just about everything off and you guys would honestly just notice the huge difference after it's all set and done. Next part is the center console. As you guys can see, a lot of buildup on the center part of the car in between both seats where the hands and all that touching on the steering wheel, all the grease buildup tends to happen over time. So I'll be using my degreaser to spray all that down and break all that dirt and grime and buildup up as well. Then from there, I'm gonna be using my warm water, just kind of spraying that a little bit down afterwards to try to, try to break down the dirt and grime even further, spraying down the pedals, wiping everything down as best as possible. I will be using some shiner afterwards once this is all cleaned up. It's obviously gonna take a little while to get everything cleaned up since obviously this car has probably never been cleaned over the past three years since it was new. I'm gonna be spraying down the steering wheel, all that grease spill up from hands grabbing over all the years, center console, all the dust. Now finally on to the back seats. You guys can see just all the grime that's just coming off those back seats. Whatever they may have spilt on it is completely coming off. Just kind of using a scrubber to break down some of the dirt and grime and whatever it is that they may have spilt on those seats. A lot of brown water coming off. It's crazy. I could go in over and over and over on the same area and just more water, brown water kept on coming off of it. I was like, wow, man, this is a pretty dirty seat. Other side was probably just as bad as you guys can see. A lot of dirty brown water coming off. Just using my just pressure washer, just honestly just spraying with water as much as I can with some degreaser and just spraying it down as best as I can, as much as I can, and just going back and forth, back and forth with the degreaser. As you guys can see, it's getting a lot of all that dirt and grime, especially in the back area, off. Next part, just gonna be spraying down all the windows just with some generic glass cleaner. These windows were not too bad, so I didn't really need to use any specific chemicals or anything, just honestly some general glass cleaner on all four windows. Had a bunch of fingerprint marks and just a bunch of grime and dirt on them. Just using a general uh, rag to clean it and some streakless glass cleaner. And next is shampooing the carpets. Finally got to, down to this part. These carpets were not that bad, so a lot of dirt really didn't come off since the car is only about three years old. Honestly, the car overall was not really as bad as I thought it was. It was mostly a lot of trash and just some dirt built up here and there. But overall, the carpets were fairly in decent condition and didn't require too much shampooing. Honestly, just a little bit of shampooing and honestly a little bit of vacuuming. Going over it again after the all it's all fully dried it was really all this carpet needed and it really is making a big big difference in what's overall look of the car and it's looking so much better than when they first brought it in to me and i'm truly impressed of so far how far this car has come over the past few days of doing all this next parts the two front seats since i got them off just decided to shampoo inside my garage just clean them up a little bit after the pressure washer, just do a little more uh, in detail cleaning, specifically the lower parts where all the dirt and grime gets to. These seats were not all that bad since the pressure washer did get the majority of the stains out. It's finally time to put in the seats after a couple hours of drying. So glad to finally be putting this car finally back together. It's kind of a little bit of a hassle getting this seat in since the steering wheel is kind of in the way. and. I guess they really didn't design these seats to fully come out easily, which is kind of understandable for a newer car like this, to be honest. Next part is just bolting the seat down. And as you guys can see, I forgot to plug it in on the driver's side, so I did that kind of after off camera. So I just basically just started bolting the whole chair completely down as best as I could, as tightly as possible, back to the way that it was before I took it out for the most part. And 
on to the passenger side. I did not forget to plug this one in since it is a little more complicated, it has one more cable to it. I did for sure make sure to plug this one in before bolting it all back in. This car is completely coming back to the way it was when it was new and I'm so excited and I'm so glad of that and the progress that I've made and all the work been put into this car so far. And last but not least, finally, the last part of this entire project, this entire part of me doing this detailing is the exterior of the car. Finally glad to finally get to the outside of the car. I purposely left the outside of the car for last because of the amount of time that it took to do the whole interior and and overall, it took me a couple of days doing all this. This video took about three days of full work, cleaning everything. This has been my first time doing this. I'm not 100% experienced in doing all this. I'm just honestly trying to learn as much as I can, as fast as I can, and be as efficient as I can as possible with it all. So I left the exterior of the car last. For the most part, the car was not too dirty, just kind of needed a little bit of TLC cleaning. Honestly, this is the first time this is actually getting this much of a detail and cleaning the car this much. The car is looking amazing. So happy with the results of what all this work finally has uh, been put into it. I hope the owner is really happy as much as I am on the whole process of the whole detail of this entire car and hope that they truly enjoy and hopefully try to keep it as clean as possible for as long as possible because this was a long, long, long process to do all this. The customer did want me to take the car to a tire shop and get the car's tires replaced since they were completely bald. It's one of the reasons why I did not really clean the wheels really well at all really because I knew the tires were so bald it really didn't even it wasn't even worth shining them up at all. So I had a tire local tire shop that I always go to remount the tires and so far they're so much better the car is looking so much better I'm impressed with the results of everything and all the work that's been finally put into this car it's been a long process but an enjoyable one the only downside is obviously as you can see there's the damage on the side of the bumpers on the passenger side where the owner's son ended up damaging it it's the only downside of the car engine bay so much cleaner and also the interior is looking quite a bit better. It's not 100% perfect. Owner didn't really want a perfect, perfect job. She just wanted it better than when she brought it in. And I gotta tell you guys, it looks way better and I love it now. Alrighty guys, so that is gonna be a wrap for that video. Man, was that a long detail. I think it's mainly because I maybe don't have enough experience doing it as much, but that took me about eight, nine hours of solid work. Three days of filming to do all this i truly enjoyed the process of it all i'm um, looking forward to doing some more maybe not as much in depth just kind of getting started small you know start up step by step just on this other business venture that i got going on i'm still going to be doing furniture flipping still going to be doing storage units now i'm going to tack on auto detailing as part of it so i'm going to kind of do a little mix of everything in between hope you guys enjoyed that video if you guys have any questions or concerns send me an email leave your comments down below like and subscribe join the family i truly would appreciate all you guys support and hitting my goal of 10,000 subscribers this year we'll see if i'm able to make it happen we'll see if i can actually fully make all that happen and make my dreams and my goals become a reality as you guys should as well if you guys are interested in knowing all the equipment and tools that i used the detail the car they will all be down in the description below hit the links and feel free to check them all out i've been using all that most of that equipment for all my furniture so I decided to transfer some of that equipment over to the auto detailing so it kind of works out kind of both ways in my favor so that'll be it for this video hope you guys enjoyed that video hit the thumbs up I truly would appreciate all you guys support with all that being said stay safe and I'll catch you guys later peace